You've all been sitting here a while, so I want you to come take a walk with me. Picture a quiet, beautiful forest. As you walk down the path, notice the maples and the pines. Under the trees, see a colorful mosaic of bushes and wildflowers. Hear a chickadee dee dee and the buzz of a bumblebee. It's pretty nice, right? This is the diverse and lively forest of my hometown, and part of the reason I fell in love with biology. But the last time I walked this trail, I noticed an unfamiliar plant. And the more I walked, the more I noticed it. This is garlic mustard, a widespread invasive species. Left unchecked, it will dramatically reduce biodiversity by outcompeting native species until it is the only one left. Biodiversity drives ecosystem health, and invasive species like this one are the second leading cause of biodiversity loss worldwide. Yet despite this risk, there is a group of organisms that are deliberately introduced to new environments, and we don't know what the consequences are. These are the arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi, or AM fungi for short. These fungi help plants take up nutrients, so they're used agriculturally to increase crop yield with less chemical fertilizer. Sounds fantastic, but it doesn't always work. It mostly uses one highly aggressive species native to Quebec. That's like throwing garlic mustard seeds out into a field and saying, oh, don't worry, how bad could it be? Well, if you're a fungus or if you're a plant in that field, it could be devastating. My research takes an existing model of species invasions and applies it to the commercial use of this fungus. I want to understand the risk of it becoming invasive, which has not been directly studied before. I focus on the first three stages of an invasion, introduction, survival, and spread. To do this, I go to a local winery that used the Quebec species in 2013 and take a soil sample from under the vines. Then I collect the DNA in the soil and look for a sequence unique to the species. By this fall, I will have the abundance and distribution of the species each year for the last five years. And I just got initial results, which suggest that in 2013, the Quebec species was rare or absent. But by 2016, it was widespread. We know that this particular fungus can quickly become up to 100% of the community, which would disrupt the valuable role they play in natural ecosystems. We need to understand the potential ecological damage before native fungal diversity is lost. Thank you.